All right, so for the Hand of Dustin assignment, we had source eight, which is Henry David Thoreau's A Week on the Concord and Mary Matt River, which we need to compare to source number seven, which is an article by Nathaniel Hawthorne based on the Dustin family. Okay, so with Thoreau's paper, he was a naturalist. Um, lots of his description was based not on the plot, but on what he observed in nature, because it's his week on the Concord and Merrimack River. It's not about the stories of the Concord and Merrimack River. It's what he saw, it's the deer there. Um, and Thoreau's masterwork, Walden, really reflects that. He, he was out in the cabin by a lake, and that's when he wrote his, his piece. So, intro to yours? Um, basically, ours with the purpose of Hawthorne's article was just to entertain the American public. It's hundreds of years after the actual event occurred. So really it's just relating the story to the American public. All right. Um, so to start with the mode of Thoreau's article, uh, it's a narrative, but he's not, it's not based on all of his, it's not based on the story so much as it's based on the emotional impact of the story. Um, how does that compare to yours, since it's just for entertainment? Yeah, the mode for Hawthorne's really is just a piece of things he wrote, and Hawthorne was early in his career at this point. He was trying to make a name for himself, so. So he was, was it a narrative? Was it, did he, yeah, he it told was, a story with it. He told a story with it. He was starting from the beginning and analyzing really all sides, I guess, kind of. And you said it was for entertainment, so was it like bombastic? Did he emphasize details very much, or he did, what he did, did he bring seem out to the story? I know he brought out the, um, the fact that it was male dominant, not. Yeah, he really did focus on it Mr. On Dustin. Hannah Dustin. And Hannah Dustin really, she wasn't the big part of the story for Hawthorne. She was just a side character. Um, yeah, Thoreau's the deer were the main characters. He, and it was as they were going down the river that, and they saw the deer and what the, the wilderness and the woods were doing and the threat of Indians in the woods. They were, the, the tension was built not by actions, but by moments, I suppose. And why would he, why does he get into the story if his entire focus is nature. Well, you still need a story. I, I think that's what he was doing. Um, he still has to convey something human and not just all this nature. It's, it's more of the interaction between human and nature and not so much just the nature. Mm -hmm. So the purpose for writing these, um, like I said, with Thoreau's, because it's he's a naturalist and this is all very, it, it, it's fairly abstract. He argues women's gender roles not through the story of Hannah Dustin, but through the emotional impact of the story of Hannah Dustin. He bases everything um, on how people feel and really what the effects of the story was. Mm -hmm. With Hawthorne, he was really trying to discredit women, I think. And he ended it by saying, oh, Mr. Dustin didn't get enough credit for everything he did, and Hannah Dustin was just this useless part of the story. So Hannah, um, he was saying that Dustin, because, she, well, Hannah Dustin, because she was taken captive and she did what she did, it's just like, yeah, it just kind of happened. What the real heroics were Mr. Dustin riding in on his horse and saving the children. Exactly. I mean, Okay, so Thoreau kind of new age gender roles or less emphasis on gender roles and uh, Hawthorne it's like male Very dominant. traditionalist, yes. Yeah. Okay, so the audience of yours was... Just the general American public, men, male dominated um, audience. Mm -hmm. um, it was a newspaper article, right? Or magazine. Magazine, so... The public at large. This yeah, wasn't. The and this was a two or three year series that he wrote for that 
just went through useful things and entertaining things that the American public would find enjoyable. It was the late 1880s, yes? No, it was 1836 for this article. So okay. it was pre-Civil War. So it was because of that, um, same with mine, really, although it is a public magazine, it's still only aiming at the educated because public education wasn't a huge thing then, mm -hmm. and women didn't really have that opportunity, blacks didn't have that opportunity. So um, they're, they're aiming it more towards the upper class and their ideas, which could lead into why they took the stances they did on gender roles. Yeah, that was the beginning of change with the row, I believe, and Paul Thorne was again very traditionalist. Yeah, he was just like, I'm gonna make some money, I'm gonna make a name for myself, let's just push some stuff that the public will like. Yes. So, the tone. Because of Thoreau's naturalist thing, he didn't um, he didn't base the tone off of the emotion. No, I think he did. Um, the tone really just flowed with the actions that were happening with Dustin. Um, like, when she was captive, I have a quote on here. Uh, uh, when they were escaping, because he starts the story as they were escaping and then he follows into it. Uh, there was nervous energy and determination during their escape. And when she was just taken captive and her baby was killed, she was determined to attempt her escape. Um, Thoreau's kind of subtle with these things, but quotes like that do push the tone along and keep the story moving. Mm -hmm. Does Hawthorne do anything like that? Hawthorne's tone is almost angry. He's kind of, yeah, I, I, I got that. Yeah, he's not very happy with the fact that Hannah Dustin gets this credit that she deserves, rightfully so, because she scalped 10 Indians. You know, um, her husband rode up on a horse and then left her and took the children, and apparently that's the heroics. So he's not very happy about that, but he's, still conveying the story. So he tells the story like all the other sources do, um, but he, he, a big emphasis on his three and a half pages is the man riding up. Yeah, out of three and a half pages, Hannah Dustin isn't mentioned until halfway through the second one. Okay, and it is her story. Yeah. So finally, Author title and time, we already touched on time a little bit with um, with the fact that this is mostly the upper class that they're hitting. Maybe not their target, but it's what they have to be targeting at this point. Um, and the authors, well, Hawthorne was a building author. And yeah, he took advantage of the fact that everyone was where most everyone was too young to remember the revolution and the Civil War hadn't happened yet, so the public hadn't been exposed to a lot of violence. So he took that as an opportunity to entertain the public Makes sense. rather than to tell, tell them the, story. The, the tragedy of what actually happened. Okay, and Thoreau is... Thoreau, I'm not... I can't remember when I looked him up if he had written Walden at this point or not. Um, but he doesn't seem like the type who would really care. It's, he's writing to write. He's not writing to please everyone. He's, he's expressing ideas. Um, the, the title, the title of yours, what was it? The title was um, Useful and, the American Magazine of Useful and Entertaining Knowledge, which obviously there aren't very many Native Americans in the populated West of America, or the populated East Coast of America. So this isn't useful knowledge, this is entertainment and entertainment only. Um, he doesn't really care about the historical context, it seems. It's just big and flashy, why didn't the man on the horse get the credit? Exactly. Okay, well, uh, Thoreau's, this, a week on the Concord and Merrimack Rivers, the specific listing of the rivers. He just says a week, not my week, not my experiences of a week. It's just a week. 
uh, as he's more experiencing the natural side of it and less the fact that things happened. Mm-hmm. So it stays with his stays with his um, idea of naturalism. So, any thoughts? Any final thoughts on that? No, not really. Any okay. any final thoughts? Well. No, we covered it fairly well. Yeah. Hawthorne was big and bombastic, more to entertain, and it was his, and it was like his premiere, I suppose. And Thoreau was kind of just mellow, explaining just what he wanted to explain, and arguing through feeling and not really loud and angry and murderous. Mad. Yeah. Well, that is our Hannah Dustin assignment. All right.